Hello, this is part one of a two-part message. To view the part two, you must tune into the next video following this episode, which is episode 6B. The next episode will be 6, 7A. Hi, um... You all know it's time is um what time is the charge? It's, it's party time. time. Right, all right, let's go, let's go, all right, all right. Anyway, well, praise how praise to everybody. Okay, we're here. Um, I love Miss Floppy today. Uh, from the old Full Scott Wisdom series to um to come and visit our church today, and she's sitting out in the audience. And um, hi, and uh, I'm the pastor of the service today, and. And uh, everybody already know who I am, so I don't have to reintroduce myself. And anyway, uh, anyway, we're gonna have to get right into the service because uh, we got a little treat after the service. But right now, we're gonna get right into the service, okay? And uh, today's message is gonna be about, uh, of course, today is Sunday. We're gonna talk about today in the service. Um, we're gonna read from Jonah chapter one. Jonah chapter 1, verse 1 to 16, and Jonah chapter 2, verses, uh, chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. And, uh, we're talking about Jonah, you know. Jonah was in the belly of the whale, you know. And Jonah was, um, you know, Jonah was, like, disobedient, and he did things he shouldn't have done. He said things he shouldn't have said. He, uh, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it, and then we're gonna, we might have a little discussion about it. But here we go. Okay, it's Jonah chapter 1. We're going to begin in, for, at verse 1. And it goes like this. Okay, all right, congregation. You may be seated. Okay, now. And it reads like this. Jonah chapter 1, verses 1. It says, The word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise and go to Nineveh, that great city, that great city and cry against it for the witness wickedness has came up before me this is what the lord said that city of, of Nineveh uh it was a very wicked in god's eyes hallelujah but you know even today there's a churches here now some of them you know there's wickedness coming up before the lord you know we want to make sure that it ain't our church okay all right praise god hallelujah hallelujah Anyway, and so that's verse uh, verse 2. And now verse 3 of Jonah chapter 1 says, But Jonah rose up, and he fled unto Tarsus from the presence of the Lord. And he went down to Joppa, and he, and he found a ship going to Tarsus. So he paid the fare thereof, and he went down unto it, unto it, to go and to go with them unto Tarsus from the presence of the Lord. You know, we're gonna have to watch ourselves, saints. We gotta make sure that we're not a we're not a journal, okay? That we're not that journal. We gotta make sure, hallelujah. Alright, congregation. You guys gotta make sure that we're not that Jonah, you know, running from the Lord, fleeing from the Lord. You know, we got anyway. Oh, don't get me started. I'm gonna keep on going. Okay, so we gotta go to verse four this time of Jonah chapter one. It said, but the Lord sent a great wind unto the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship had was like to be broken. And um, you see, sometimes we have a little turmoil in our life. Sometimes those things are to straighten us up. God never brings uh, brings turmoil in our lives to destroy us. He might allow it to come to straighten us up. Sometimes you know we need to be straightened up. Hallelujah. Now, church, you guys know you need to be straightened up. And those that are out there in the world of YouTube, uh, you know, we gotta sometimes we gotta have the same discipline. We gotta have the same same, uh, same things happening, but different things happening. But you know, God has to get our attention. Hallelujah. 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 Okay. Anyway, it goes on to verse five. Jonah chapter 1 says then the marinas were afraid see there was even people that was marinas that means these people were very familiar with the waters they knew how the water works they've been out there
yet they seem strong. But some, something was different about this song. So therefore, in the marinas of that day, they knew. They knew something was wrong and something was out of the ordinary. Hallelujah. That's all right. Because look, listen to the test, test the wise story from Jonah. We're not going to get too far into that. We're just going to keep on, keep on, keep it on. Anyway, verse 5 again says, And then the marinas were afraid and cried every man unto his God and cast forth the rare that were in the ship into the sea to lighten to lighten it of, the, of them so you see they started throwing things overboard you know and our lives we gotta do the same thing saying hallelujah we gotta have to throw some stuff overboard you know we got so much going on we got so much junk junk in our trunk the, the, the trunk right here this trunk the trunk right up here and the trunk right here in our heart we gotta have to get rid of some tr some junk church hallelujah oh don't get me started hallelujah don't get me started okay so anyway so it goes on to say okay let's see lose my little spot right here that's all right god get the glory okay anyway so it says to lighten that the load so okay and then it goes on to say in verse five it says but Jonah was gone down into the side, the side, and he laid, and he set, went fast to sleep. You see, church, we don't need to be going to church. We need to wake up. Wake up. We need to wake up. We don't need to be going to, look at old Jonah. Jonah know he was running from the Lord, so he was too comfortable. You know, if you're running from the Lord, you know, you ain't supposed to be comfortable. You're supposed to be in a situation where, oh, it's going to rattle your mind and rattle your brain because it's there to help us to to lead us back to where we need to go. Hallelujah. And so we're going to go on, church. Hallelujah. We're going to go on. And uh, it says right here in Jonah chapter 1, verse 6. It says, So the so the, the, ship, the ship master came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleep? Arise, call upon thy God. If, if so, if so be that God will, will think upon us that we may not perish. Hallelujah. So, you know, it's saying right there, you know, all of a sudden they realize the problem, you know. You know, it's just like the church is now. They, you know, the pastors, they, they realize the problem, you know, and all. But you know what? <laughs> you know what? Okay, but well, anyway, we're going to go on because, you know, we're not about this. We're about bringing people to the Lord, not scaring them away from God. Okay, so we're going to go forth in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And we're just going to go on, you know, because I'm saying, woe is me. Woe is me. Lord, it's me. The world is talking about me, Lord. You know, I got some things, Lord, that I need to clean up. I can't talk about nobody else. I only can talk about myself. You know, but anyway, we're going on. We're going on. Every bit of this word is, is for me, about me. So I'm going on. It's going to keep on keeping on. And it goes right here. And uh, anyway, it talks about in, in verse six we just read. You know, with the ship, the, 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 ship, the ship master, the head of the captain. That's like a captain in these days. Anyway, the head of the, the ship realized there was a problem, and the problem he kind of got instinct that it wasn't whatever. He all the things he threw overboard and all the other things that he did that that didn't solve the problem. So he knew he had one other way, and he came unto Jonah. Jonah was asleep. I can't say it out in the bottom of the ship. He was out there sleeping. You know what? He was peace. When well, actually he should not have been peace for him because of his situation. So anyway, it goes on like this. Okay, we did um we got upon okay, now we're going to verse seven uh, of Jonah chapter one. And it says right here, in Jonah chapter seven. I mean Jonah chapter one, verse seven says, And they said, Every man to his fellow, come and let us cast lots that we may not know. I mean, that we may know for whom causes these evil to come upon us. So they all cast lots, and the lots fell upon Jonah. Hallelujah! Yes, they came up. And no, at verse number eight, it says, um, of Jonah chapter one, it says, Then said them unto him. Tell us, we pray to thee, for thou comest this evil 
for thy cause is evil to come upon us. What is thine? What is in thine? Oh, oh what's that? I, I'm sorry. What is that in thine occupation? He said. I'm sorry, right there, but anyway. You know, you can get brain freeze even stand up here behind the pulpit. Hallelujah, but God is still good. Okay, anyway, it says so. We're going to read verse 8 again. Verse 8 of Jonah chapter 1. It says, Then said unto them, Then said they unto him, Talking about Jonah, they said unto Jonah. So it says, Tell us, we pray thee, For whom caused this evil is upon us? What is thy occupation? And with thy cometh, cometh thee. What is thy country? And of what people are thou? They realize there was some somebody strange on that on that, you know what? They realized there was something strange going on on that ship. And they needed to know what was causing it. They needed to know who this person was. This uh this Jonah was. So we go on to verse 9. And it says, and Jonah, this is talking about Jonah. It said, and he said unto them, I am a Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, which has, which has made the seas and the dry and the dry land. Okay, and then verse 10 goes on to say, Then were the men exceedingly afraid, and they said unto him, Why has thou done this to us? For the men, for the men knew that he had fled from the presence of the Lord because he had told them. Verse 11, it goes on to say, that's Jonah, that he had confessed that he, he was running from the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we running from the presence of the Lord? If some of us running from the presence of the Lord, we better check our closet and check ourselves. Check the closet that's in our heart. Hallelujah. And check ourselves because you know what? What if we if we are running from his presence, we better find our way back pretty soon, don't you think? Okay, we're gonna go on. Okay. Alright, and so it goes on here. And I think we're at verse um um Okay, we're at verse 11. Jonah chapter 1, verse 11. It says, then said that then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee? That the sea may be calm unto us. For the sea and growth and growth and it's temperate. And it was temperate. And Jonah said unto them, and said that he said unto them, talk to Jonah. Because they was asking Jonah the question. And Jonah answered like this in verse 12 of chapter 1 of Jonah. It says, And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea, so that you, the sea shall be calm unto thee. For I know that for my sake, that this great temple has come upon you. Thanks, so we know sometimes that, uh, you know, uh, we, we just know sometimes when something ain't right. We know sometimes what how certain things are being caused. We know sometimes there's certain things in our life. I'm not going to use a person, but just say an uh, uh, object. There yeah, sometimes there's objects. There could be a... Uh, you know, you got a car, it's running well, but then you want a whole new car. You want this, you want that, you want a lot of things that you shouldn't even, don't even really need. Okay, you know, we know God supply our needs, first of all. But he's not going to supply necessarily at once. Because at once are the things that get us in trouble half of the time. So anyway, praise be to God. We're going to keep on going because we, we have a short limit of time to get this message out today. So anyway, so, um, so we got, I think we're down here. We did verse number 11. And I think we did verse number 12. Yes, and now so we are on verse 13. It says, nevertheless, the, the, the men rode hard, and they, the, the men rode hard to bring it to land, but they could not bring it to land. See, they thought they could do this on their own, that, you know, if they rode hard, they could bring, you know, they can, uh, they can get things calm, and they can hurry up and get to the shore, but see, God has a plan, you know. Sometimes you're in a little mess. This has been part one of a two-part message. To tune in to the next episode, you must um, um, click on episode 7A.